Hi, I am Ajipal Singh Sethi, the founder of Curate. One of the most useful skills that you will see or utilize in a business development or a sales or a partnerships role is negotiations. Negotiation tactics are always seen, you know, in usual scenarios as a very sort of a fixed sum pie where you have to sort of lose for the other party to gain and vice versa, right? It's always seen as you know, there is some set of benefits that if you sort of make a good attempt at it, you make money, more money out of the whole situation. For example, the idea in the sales scenario is that if you can actually make the customer pay for a longer plan or actually make them pay more for a standard offering or actually sell them three things at the time that they might not need, right? That's a good negotiation and you've actually sold and made your way and actually proven yourself to be a great negotiator. And that's always the thing that I always take objection to. The best salespeople, the best partnership folks I've always seen, right? Always see negotiation as a win-win scenario. So their idea is negotiation is more of a conversation. It's more of a discussion. And the idea is that, you know, while negotiating and while talking to the other party, how can they find a scenario where the, not only they gain, but the partner also gains. And the other side of it, the flip side of it is, if it is a fixed sum pie in the current scenario, can they lose in the current scenario and make the client win so that you make a client for life? For example, if you are selling a simple, well, the very famous example, if you're selling a customer a new car, right? And you give them 10 accessories that they don't need or sell them a service package that they'll never require. Then that customer coming back to you for future service when the warranty period ends or for more accessories is always going to be low because they will over time realize that they were ripped off. So in that first negotiation, you win, right? But in the eventual negotiation, you lose out. So the two scenarios, making thinking of negotiation as a win-win and second, thinking of it as losing first to gain and win in the longer term, losing the battle to win the war scenario are two sort of very easy tactics. And this is very important as a salesperson, partnerships guy, business development person. You'll always need these, this, these set of skills to really make an impact. And we at Curate are doing a free workshop very soon on the 30th, where the idea is where we want to teach you what are the negotiation tactics that you can use to actually make a mark as a business development professional. This workshop is free and it opens the doors for a fellowship that we'll be running in November, where, it, where we actually train you on the real skills required for a business development professional and put you in front of real recruiters for opportunities that they have. So this is your gateway to that opportunity. Don't miss out. The link for registration is wherever you're seeing this, whether you're seeing this on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Insta, the registration link is there. Sign up today and know such amazing negotiation tactics that are really meant to make you successful as a business development professional, as a career. So this is Ajay Pal Singh Sethi signing off. See you in our workshops or our fellowships.